present a few words what I was going to say in my drasha this morning. Thank you for joining us. You know, if we go back, I'm a little people know me, a little bit old movie buff. You know, in the movie, uh, the, there was a, a in the movies there was a, a, a famous comedy duo, Laurel and Hardy. They started off separately in silent movies, and they came together to do a comedy. And Oliver Hardy, he was famous that he would play with his tie. That was his his trademark. Where did that come from? Well, he was doing a silent movie where he was playing a, a sailor and he was swabbing the deck. And he thought he's going to blow his nose on his tie, that that would be a funny thing. And he realized it's a little vulgar and it's not appropriate for a movie. It would probably be censored. If you imagine, that's what is considered vulgar. Let's go a few decades later. It's the 50s. In the, in the famous TV show, I Love Lucy, they weren't allowed to say the word pregnant. They expected because also it was considered, wasn't considered to be uh, dignified, wasn't considered to be clean uh, to say this word pregnant. Even if you go back a little before that, 1940, uh, Charlie Chaplin has this famous movie, The Great Dictator. He was worried the censors were going to censor a lot of things. There was one thing that was censored. He used the word lousy, and lousy is considered a vulgar word. That's how it was in the old days. Nowadays, what do we see? Uh, you know, on regular TV, you have Sex in the City, you have all these things. You know, it's a totally different world that we live in now. So a friend of mine, he said he remembers he his parents, they wouldn't let him watch TV for a long time. He asked what's going on. He grew up with TV. He said, yeah, but when we were growing up, we had the Lone Ranger, Leave it to Beaver, and now it's on that. It's a similar question people have all together. Why is it that Nowadays, well, you know, you, you could be a, a chosid a mole, be clean shaven, wear a tie, and a bend down hat. You were a chosid. Now everyone goes with, with white socks, strime, everything. With Orthodox Judaism, as it seems, has gone more to the right. You know, people, they tell me, oh, my Alta Alta Bobby, she was ultra, ultra, ultra Orthodox, but she didn't do this, that. He had, at one time, you know, even the uh, Revitans from Rosh Hashibas, they, they didn't cover her hair, they wore pants. And now everyone's so from yeah, let's go, and the Chidosh of on. What changed? Why is it that there has been this right, right word that would seem move? The answer we can find in this week's parasha. We see in today's parasha that the story of the, the laws of the Sota, and right after that is the laws of the Nazarene. The sages say in the Jerusalem town, that someone who sees the woman suspected of adultery in her state of denigration, he will separate himself from wine, because wine, often alcoholic beverages, often lead to lewdity, to, to lewdness. So it's a general rule. There's no obligation to be in that not everyone. Nobody has to be a Nazarite. They choose to be a Nazarite, to be extra holy. But what would be one thing which would cause a person to want to be a Nazarite? Is seeing the Sota in her Kilkula. So too, in the earlier days, you didn't have to be so from, because the rest of the world was still good and wholesome for the most part. It wasn't perfect. But ostensibly it was. Nowadays, the world has gone so much the other way, and just to be normal, you have to go more and closer to more holiness, more separation from the world. That's what, that's the answer to the question that people say, why, all of a sudden, you know, it used to be, you know, it was good enough to be kosher, glad kosher, all these questions, all these questions that people have. During Shalash I was thinking about this, and I, I said over, there was a say, it says, Misha was a sightable kulkulo, Yazar is Atzmai Mina Yoyim. And I said, Nixnas Yoyim Yetzay Soit. We know that when wine comes in, secrets come out. The gematria of the word Yayin, wine, is the same as so, it's secret. So the secrets of the Torah are connected to wine. And I said, as it means, Yazar is Atzmai Mina Yoyim. Mean means from. Direct, Adorch the Yoyim. What does it mean? That it was saying that 
Yazar's Atma, you can have a Nezer Aloysha, you could be holy to God through the secrets of Torah, through the Ayin, which is the Gematria soul, through the secrets of Torah, you can be worthy also to this level. So that's the other question people have. How come now so much Kabbalah, everything, in the old days? Why the same reason? Because the whole world is so going so far away from God, we have to go back the other way and be closer. Ah, uh, so the thing is, a very important note that we have to bring out from this, it's interesting, also what you come after that is the Birkus Kahanim, that through this being extra holy comes the blessing, comes tremendous blessing. But what's specifically going on? I remember an acquaintance of mine told me he was having trouble, he's an Ingaman, a married young man, he said that he and his wife are having trouble having children. He wanted to go to one of the biggest deacon today. He was afraid that if he went to me, tell him that his wife would have to shave her head. I was talking to a friend of mine about this. And he said, well, what's this? Why would he tell her that? It's just a minute. He said, no, it's a bro- it's a chumra. And we say, mach me tov ve'el of when you That when, you, when you're strict about something, you have, you have blessings from it. It's not a requirement, but it's a chumra. It's a stringency. And so a blessing can come to it. So you see the same idea from the Nazarite, the stringency of the Nazarite vow can come a blessing. Now you don't have to be a Nazarite. You could just, just to be a normal Jew is already something that, that gets you a little bit f- further from the rest of the world. But that's Aleph. But then to go further and to accept more Chumr is it's a good thing. The only thing that we have to bring out on both sides, both to the people who want to be more Machmir and the people who choose not to be, and it's their right to choose not to be neither should look down on the other. Everyone has to realize that this decision to be a little bit more machmir on things, to be more stringent in certain areas, it's a personal choice. And not to look down a person who has this choice should not look down on those who do not choose to do these things, who are not required to. And also, the one who doesn't want to shouldn't feel intimidated by those who choose to be more strict. It's their own choice and it's up to them. That's another, another lesson we learn from the from the Nazarite. It's only a choice. It's not an obligation to be a Nazarite. And so too with any chumras that a person accepts on himself. He shouldn't feel that he he should have to. But the question, but those who question why is it that people are doing and why today we see more? You know, it's interesting the old Boston Rebbe from New York he said that we have to thank the hippies because now he can have a beard. There's something that also the rest of the world also has an impact on us. And the Satmarovsk in the Rocha, he said, you know, you see, in, in Europe, people, they didn't go always to Shrine and everything. But you see, there, there was more strict, it was more put together. Now we have freedom, and we have to be thankful for that freedom. But also, the whole world is so crazy, so we have to be, we should realize the site of the Kuku, Yazar, it's also from the The point that I want to say further than that is tonight, the last night, Koshet Semag B'Tchus Yigalmoin Mokhli Yisrael said that what does it mean that actually, you know, we, we make big tikkunim, we make big spiritual rectifications all through the 49 days of the Omer. But let's say, I look at myself, what did I do? I didn't fix anything. The last day you could fix everything. At the very end. It says, this who, Shev Shos Tzmim Tiyan, this who Kamishim Yayim, after the seven weeks and after that is when counting fifty days. That all the fifty days we can accomplish all the tremendous tikkunim and segulas of Sirius Aimer, we can grab onto them now also. And that's the same idea. And that's what we're finding ourselves in such a situation now because not only the end of the Sirius Omer, but the end of this period of history. And so too, before Mashiach comes, they have also this idea of adding more holiness into our lives, making Shabbos longer bringing more, more and more ways to come close to Kaddish Baruch to, to Almighty God. So it's something that we can look forward to, not to look down on anyone else, not to say that we want to keep like this or better than that. No, everyone has their own way of coming close to God. But the main thing is, is that we capture what little that we can do. Also, every little thing counts. They all have to be so from with pace and the beard and the shrine and everything. Just the fact make a bracha once, it's a big thing. Every little thing that we can do, any little thing we can do, for God's sake, we can bring tremendous blessing right now, because we're finding ourselves at the ending point 
and we can bring tremendous blessings and good things. Al Yaday Zay Yishma Shafa Rabba Kholay Lomais and through this there can be tremendous blessing in all the worlds of Sakhnas Nafshi Sainu, the Nishma Sainu Rikha Sainu, to fix all the levels of our soul. And to be purified and cleansed with God's eternal holiness. So we should be worthy through this. If we want to be more machmer on things, we can have big brokers from this. And if we don't, don't look down on those, and, don't, and if you do, don't look down on those who don't. And if you don't, don't think that the ones who do are being more firmer than you or they're thinking down. They just, it's for the sake of all Kalal so we're all in this together. Everyone, we can do whatever we can do. And through this, whatever small thing we can do, and spend time to talk to Hashem and learn Torah, whatever we can do on our own level, through this we can be worthy to receive the Torah. Mir Hashem tomorrow night is Kabbalah to Torah. We should be all worthy to be Yadrat Atzmimina Yoyin, to have the crown of the Torah from the Sod, from the secrets of Torah, from the Simcha of Torah, and Simcha Lugmos Biyoyin. In the in the in the in, in the schus of this, we can be worthy to tremendous good things and all kinds of blessings and wonderful things. We should be worthy to see it and to be, to accept the Torah tomorrow night. Kedush b'tahara, mitzvahem. Whoever sees this should be blessed with good things and all the best. Have a good evach and a good yantiv. Call to.